Alright, so I am hoping that color correction won't be as bad as like all of the previous ones. I've actually changed the setting to something different on my camera. It's like the standard portrait setting, so I'm crossing my fingers that it's not going to be as bad and my eyes won't look as red as they always do. Not that I really care if you guys like think that my eyes look super super red, but it's just weird. I'm trying to get like the best setup and lighting and whatnot and I really need to experiment a little bit more and probably not make all of my lighting decisions when I'm still drunk. Because <laughs> literally, I'm just like, yeah, just leave it like that. You're gonna be drinking in five minutes anyway. You won't remember any of this. Now, speaking of drinking, I have a confession. So this, this is the, what is this? The, this is the mango pineapple one. Um, and you guys know that I had the peach one the other day. The peach one, I actually started drinking just normally and that one's actually really, really good. I tasted this one without any absinthe in it and it tastes fucking disgusting. <laughs> don't get the peach, don't get the, the pineapple mango one, get the peach one if you plan on drinking on its own, but if you wanna mix something with absinthe, this is gonna be totally up your alley because it makes things taste like toothpaste, which isn't necessarily terrible if you were a kid that ate toothpaste like I may have done. Just, I mean, not like, I not like out straight out of the tube, like, um, you know, it's kind of like, oh, this is a, a toothpaste. Uh, got in my mouth. Whoops. Anyway, <laughs> while we're there, let's go ahead and start with the absinthe. Uh, one of the things that I keep forgetting to do because I'm super, super busy is um, to go ahead and actually repaint this nail. I actually, I'm pretty sure that I ripped off because, okay, here. I like painting my nails, but I am still a boy, so I definitely for sure fucking still rip off <laughs> the, uh, the, um, the, nail polish from my nails instead of actually like taking it off with actual nail polish remover because I keep on forgetting to buy it while I'm at the store. I know, it's terrible. But you do what you gotta do now. Open, you piece of sh I feel like we've had this one already. Did we get a double? Hold on. Is there a, is there another one that's like you? There, there are several that are like you and I didn't catch it at all, holy camoly. So I don't remember quite what day it is, but we did have the Jade 190 something and I believe this one was 68%. And then another day we had the Jade Espirit, which was like 72%. So I mean, I guess this must be a pretty like well-known um, absinthe company because today we have another one from them, which is the Jade Terminus Oxygene. Um, which is, I believe, another 68% one. I find that really, really interesting. They must be like the house of absinthe. Boop. Oh, I feel so stupid for not knowing that earlier. I like, but what I need to do now is I need to like melt, maybe not melt the wax off of these caps, but get the wax off of this, and then it can have the cool shot bottles. Oh, I'm excited. Oh, I didn't chill the water. I forgot to do that. Well, you know what? Fuck it, your life's fucked up anyway. Let's go ahead and get started. I should probably go back and try like the normal versions of this because legitimately, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as traditional and as fancy as it did before when you like dribbled everything in. And maybe that's that's what it is about like, um, maybe that's what it is about tradition. It's kind of like one of those things like, you, you, you do these certain steps and you get this kind of feeling because now I just feel like I'm making a mixed drink. Which isn't necessarily bad, but it kind of kills the magic of it. But this is the best part. Actually, I actually let that kind of aerate out so it lost a lot of its fizz. So I don't even know if I'll get fizz today. We'll see. Okay. Will we get fizz? We do! We still get fizz! Okay, I don't feel so bad. I don't feel so bad now. One of these days, I'm telling you, I'm gonna go marry me an ASMR boy so he can speak softly and whisper into my ears and put me in bed at night. <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. Legit, all down in one shot. <sighs> Maybe not the greatest idea, 
but it's done and we can go ahead and move on to the next part of the advent. Alright, so Star Wars, I don't really feel like we've made too much with the Star Wars stuff. I really have absolutely no clue what's going on. We've just been getting men upon men upon men upon men, which I mean isn't necessarily bad. Um, we have an orgy scene that's working out quite well for it, but beyond that we haven't really gotten anything that we'll be able to construct something cool out of. Um, I didn't even mention what day it was when we first started because I'll be real with you I don't actually think I remember we're on day 10 <laughs> By process of elimination. I just started looking at the numbers. and I'm like, what is the lowest number of this bunch? Ooh, okay, so I was just talking about how we didn't get any kind of ship But it looks like we did get a ship This is probably gonna be one of the constructions that I'm like y'all are gonna have to tell me what the fuck this is um, because, so I'm starting to feel like there, this is like all stuff from episode 5? Someone had made a comment about it like there was a battle on Thoth. I'm just making up words. It just sounds like words to me now, to <laughs> be honest with you. I'm like, I don't know what this is. I'm just gonna start naming things that sound familiar. Hi kitty cat, how are you doing? So now that the holidays are getting closer, I'm wondering how are you guys faring with all of your holiday ordeals? Because it is legit the 10th. No to WeHo starts on the 18th or 19th. I don't actually remember. I have to go look it up and see when I posted last year. But yeah, I mean, it's fucking, it's not, I won't even say it's creeping up. It's just like blatantly here now. It's doing its thing. And I'm like, I am not prepared whatsoever. You know what's very, very strange is I don't actually feel the absinthe yet. I feel a little blurry, but not anything too major. Okay, so let's take a look at the ship. Does that look, is that familiar in any way, shape, or form to anyone? Or is this like a weapon? Am I getting it totally wrong? Take a look for yourselves. Does that look cool? Is this pretty accurate? How is LEGO Star Wars doing? Are they doing a good job with these things? Because I have no clue what this is. If I was going to name this, this would be... Um... The A-Fighter. Is, is that what it's called? The A-Wing? It's, it's an A to me, so that's what that is. But from looking at kind of like stuff like that, I think we're gonna have a really interesting kind of like mech. Maybe that's what we'll try to do. Cause last year we tried to do like ships and stuff like that. What if we can make mechs? Let's try to make a mech this year. That'd be really, really interesting. Now onto the pre-sweetened show. Um, let's move on to Milka. And we'll start making our bets right now. It looks like, oh, this one's freaky. This one is extremely freaky, like, oh, I don't know if I like this at all. Like, look at that creepy, creepy moon face. That is, that is really, really odd, especially if you take a bite into it. It's like, he's gonna curse you. Am I nuts for thinking that? Because he really does look pretty fucking freaky, right? Am I right? I'm, I think I'm right. So let's go ahead and place our bet. Is he filled with something? Is he not filled with something? Is it moon cheese? Is there no moon cheese? We'll see in three. Two, and... Oh, maybe they're all... I think we have run into maybe like two that have not been filled with something, which is really, really odd to me. Even if they are owned by some crazy corporate meglo... I don't know, the words are gone. The apps kick in. It's all done now. <laughs> Cut the video. It's over. We're done. It's finished. Mm. So from yesterday's drawing, I think I'm actually going to wait until um, it actually releases, which is probably going to be sometime next week or the following week. My cat is the devil. Anyway, so I'm going to wait to pull names from that until the next following week. Subscribers are still a little bit low, and I haven't really done a great job promoting it on the channel. It's only been like one day. So I'm gonna try to push more people to come out this way and hopefully they'll join in on all the fun. This is legitimately like the highlight of all of the things. I've eaten the <laughs> I've eaten the brownies. I have eaten one truffle. There were two truffles in there, okay? I was like, alright, I can just have one. I'm I feel so bad, like legit, I just wanna enjoy the box. But I know that I'm drinking absinthe, I'm eating chocolate, um, and I'm also gonna have pastries and sweets, so I have to kind of like pace it out a little bit because I haven't done like push-ups or like sit-ups in quite a while. My weights are just kind of like strewn off to the side. It's kind of like the holidays say fuck you, but it's the holidays. Come on, right? This is like the one joy that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead, close my eyes, look really, really. Str well, there's no addresses, right? Okay, good. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna close my eyes, dig into the box, and the first thing that I touch is gonna be the first thing that I eat. I'm gonna have, this is a tag. This is just a tag. That's this probably from the truffles that I had earlier. Oh, here's another tag. What are you? <gasps> it's a Rice Krispie Treat. Okay, I'm excited about this one because I wanted to eat this earlier. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was eyeing this and I was like, Oof. I haven't had a good Rice Krispie Treat in a long time. And the thing about Rice Krispie Treats are they're like nice and simple. They're, how do I say this? The, I, I consider them like the palate cleanser of like the sweet treat world. They're like, they're not too complex. They're just nice and sweet and they have a cool texture to them. And cat, don't eat that. <laughs> but yeah, so they're a great way to kind of like end your sweets meal. Does that sound a sweets meal? Is that a thing that happens? Have you ever just had a meal just like purely of sweets? I haven't necessarily done that, but it kind of, I wonder if it would make my, you know what, one of these days, we'll have a sweet meal. We'll have a sweet meal together. How about that? On this channel, we will find like a way to mukbang a sweets meal and we'll do it. Oh, oh my God, it's like still soft. That's my favorite. It's like when you can pull it apart and see the threads, see all of the threads of the marshmallow. Mm. I don't the shape of a heart. Mmm. But I think they cheated. Because it's cut in the shape of a heart. So you damn well know it was on a flat tray. She cut them out in the shape of a heart. And then she ate all of the bits in the middle. Mmm. Now, this is pretty bad. That's what she said. And he said, that's what everybody said. That's what everybody says. <laughs> Ooh. The sprinkles actually add something extra to it. It's like, I won't say because it, it tastes like a Rice Krispie Treat. But the sprinkles have like a little... You know, kind of like the poppy seeds on an everything bagel, how it's not like they necessarily dictate the whole flavor of the bagel. It's just this little extra layer of ump that's really, really tasty. That's kind of like what the sprinkles do. So I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but look at the little sprinkles. They're purple and black. They're Shoal's colors. Ah! All the Shoal hype. And next time, you know what I'm going to do? Because... I will be honest with you, I need to record a double tonight just so that I can um, kind of make up some time, make up some ground with this because I will be honest with you, I'm a little late <laughs> with all of these and I need to do this right. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna take a break, I'm gonna paint my nails, I'm gonna eat the rest of this fucking Rice Krispie Treat and then we're gonna move on with our lives, it's gonna be amazing. Um, I'm gonna stop recording for a second, I'm gonna put some powder on my face, I'm gonna eat the rest of this Rice Krispie Treat, I'm gonna fucking eat the shit out of this. Um, so, we're gonna cut it off right there. I hope you guys had an amazing night. I hope your day is going great. I hope your holidays... I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you one tip right now. There's one thing I need you to do. Forget about Christmas and forget about Hanukkah. Forget about all the things that are coming up right now. Plan your New Year's now. Figure out what the fuck you're doing for New Year's. Tell your friends, hey listen, we need to say, what are we doing? Are we, are you gonna be watching a stream? Maybe me and DK are gonna stream. I don't know, cause I don't fucking know what I'm gonna do for New Year's either. But we always end up leaving it till after the holidays are over. And then we have like four days or less to figure out what the fuck is going on. So that is your task today. Call your friends and say, hey, listen, we need to figure out what's going on with New Year's. Call them right after and just get your life together. Even if they can't make solid plans, at least have an idea because it always feels like shit on Christmas when you like realize you're like, fuck, New Year's is like four days away. My life is ruined. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys with that thought. You all take care of yourselves. And as always, oh, I started off wrong. Started off wrong as always. Love somebody, hurt nobody, and touch your body. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I'll give you the teensiest, tiniest little piece. You get a little one, just a little one. This is probably terrible. I'm probably gonna get arrested for this. Dance for me, monkey. Dance for me. You want it? You want just a little tiny one? You want it? Yeah? Oh, oh. This is yours. This is yours. <laughs>